Hollywood has long had this obsession with end of the world scenarios. How close have their movies been though to the, what the Bible says, the actual end of the world? A former movie actor has joined us to give us his insight. Folks, I'm so happy to have with me Todd Hutchinson. He's a former Hollywood actor. He's a screenwriter, a playwright, and he has joined us on staff at Lamb and Lion Ministries and the Finance Department. So glad to have you here, Todd. Good to see you, Nathan. Good to be here. Well, Todd, Hollywood seems to have this long-term obsession with the end of the world scenarios. What was the first movie Hollywood put out that portrayed the world coming to an end? Long-term is correct, because we can go back over 100 years. 100 years? Yes, to 1916. Uh, the End of the World is uh, actually a Danish film. Okay. Yeah, it's black and white. It's based on uh, an asteroid coming by the Earth really close and the effects it had on uh, the natural environment and destruction of things. So that, that kind of began things. Um, that was the first widely known End of World film. Okay, and as time went on, what type of movies did Hollywood put out each each almost decade, right? Yeah, each decade is different. Like you have in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, your what we call your H.G. Wells okay. era. You know, Time uh, machine. Yeah, 1936, things to come. The famous War of the Worlds, which is done like five or six oh, times yeah, now. Wells. Yeah, you have the 1960s. You have uh, the Last Man on Earth, which was based on the I Am Legend novel. Uh, Night of the Living Dead, the famous black and white zombie film. Uh, you have great things like Planet of the Apes, which gave us that great image of the Statue of Liberty yes. in the sand, which is, yeah. it, it burned in the my mind for years. Yes, yeah, you know, riding on horses and seeing yeah. that, it was amazing. Then the 70s, you had more like edgy films like Soylent Green, which was an environmental film based on things. You had interesting films like Logan's Run, which was the first one that was about depopulation. And then you had uh, things like uh, uh, Mad Max in the 70s. Yeah. Like a... Post-apocalyptic yeah. nuclear wasteland type Absolutely. Scenario. We started yeah. dealing with things like uh, oil shortages and water shortages and things like that where how society would react, mm -hmm. you know. And, of course, we get the great Mel Gibson from that film. We get yeah, uh, yes. them uh, with the great vehicles that they used and just the utter chaos in the desert. So there's things like that. And then in the 80s, we moved to more like scientific things. We had like a 1982's The Blade Runner, you know, Harrison Ford. Uh, this idea that our technology was bringing about the end of the world. Absolutely. And, and, and this kind of view of what the end of the world would look like, you know, technologically and all the advances that we would have. And then we had uh, James Cameron's smash hit, The Terminator. Yeah. Our, right? our technology is trying to kill us just like we're trying to eject God. Our technology is trying to eject us. Absolutely. We create, you know, this artificial intelligence that turns on us. So the 80s was great for sci-fi. And then uh, from about, you know, 1980 till now, we, they've just really perfected the craft of the end of the world films. Mm -hmm. Now we have films that are like two and a half, three hours long. Oh, the Avengers movies were all about Thanos oh, yes. snapping his fingers in the world, half the population. Depopulation. That, again, depopulation. Yeah. Armageddon and... Uh, that's a good one. The, the day after day. tomorrow, Independence Day, fighting the aliens. They have all these great things. It's almost like a, an art form now of every year there has to be some sort of film that ends the world. Interesting. What type of scenarios has Hollywood come up with that portray the world ending? I'd say the, the, there's, there's five that are pretty uh, their go-to bag. Uh, number one is alien invasion. Yeah, that's a of course. One. I mean, that's probably the most yeah. used. You know, we're in this huge universe. We can't be the only ones here. Um, asteroids, something hitting the planet, a large object, the moon. Oh, like an extinction event, an extinction like with the dinosaurs event. or something. Absolutely. Um, most popular now is probably you know a virus or a plague that turns us into flesh-eating zombies or vampires or something crazy. Apocalypse. Yes, yeah. World War Z. Yes, yeah. The Walking Dead. You know one of the greatest shows on television in the last 10 years. And then, uh, of course, environmental disaster, you know, because yeah, we're all 2012, about, yeah. that was in the whole earth got iced over again. The climate change, the, the global warming scenario. And I think the one that we're all living in now, obviously, is the uh, artificial intelligence. Yes. The computers take us over. And when you look at what we're doing now, you go to the public spaces and malls and everybody, this is their whole life, right? We're all doing this the whole time. So we're we're so engulfed in 
these electronic machines that I think that is the one scenario I think most people believe in the most. Okay. Well, would you then say that Hollywood is obsessed with end time events? And if so, why? Well, they're human. I mean, we all have this impending doom feel, right? Okay. You know, we know we don't live forever, right? We don't, you know, we all know. And I think there's an innate uh, knowing in our beings that there is something coming to the end, right? And so I think keep going like it can be going forever. forever. You know, when you look at society in general and all the things of the chaos and things that are going on now, you understand that we as a, a species, a human race, we're getting you know <laughs> to that point where something's going to happen, okay. right? And I think it's just every one of us has that naturally in us to believe that there's an end to something. We have death and taxes. It's the only guarantees in our life, right? That's fascinating. So Hollywood's actually tapping into something that's built into us, this idea that this present world cannot continue as it is. Absolutely. Okay. And you have to understand, you know, most of the executives in Hollywood are, are Jewish men or Jewish women. And so okay. most of them probably grew up knowing the Word of God or were, were taught the Word of God. or So they know that there's something going to happen. So it's just how they interpret it through their... Uh, secular views or their worldly views is what we're seeing on the screen. Well, you know, I've always pictured in my mind so many scenarios of a giant epic uh, movie based on the book of Revelation. I mean, it would be astounding. 21 judgments of God coming down the earth, Jesus Christ returning, the angels and the church coming with them, but nothing. Cheap, beam, Christian-based movies have tried to touch on it. But why is in Hollywood go to the Bible and pick the most epic end times movie ever. I think it would be bigger than Avengers. I think it would too. And I think right now we're at a place uh, technologically that we can do it. Yeah, it would take a lot. You know, of I mean, the computer animation, you'd have to understand this would be maybe a six hour movie. It, it would also, because it's a lengthy, they could probably better do a show, yeah. <laughs> the revelations. But the scripts have been written, right? Oh and yeah, there's been story. there's been tons of scripts about the end of the world, but to actually take the book, which is basically when you read the book, it reads like a movie. Mm -hmm. It really does. Just all the crazy things that are in yeah, Revelation. And the, it reads like a great Hollywood blockbuster movie. Uh, I just don't think they want to tell the truth. Ah, so that would right? explain that Jesus Christ is going to come back. Absolutely. He's going to rule and reign. And that's one thing Hollywood Absolutely. can't give us. They all know it, uh -huh. but they just don't want to reveal it because it just, I don't know, it almost in a sense brings them to an end as well. Okay. Wow, that's true, because the movie industry will end when Jesus returns. Absolutely. So we know during the years of tribulation that a lot of these things are actually going to happen. Yeah, that Armageddon meteorite yes. is going to hit the earth. It's that's going to hit the earth. So it's not like they're not, they're not giving us the whole truth, but they're giving us a lot of the truth. Right. Right. And this is their way of kind of in a roundabout preparing us in a sense. Well, the Star Wars prequels, the rise of the emperor and everyone Absolutely. willing to give up their power and their freedom to an emperor to take over. And Padme saying that the, she never thought the death of democracy would be at the ch clapping and cheering. Man, that's stuck in my mind. And that is so like a point that points to the Bible. We do. And we see it even today in, in the society. We see a lot of people who are preparing for the end of the world, people who have given their hearts and accepted the Lord Jesus as their Savior and are looking for His His return in the rapture to remove us before the tribulations. And, and we know that when He's going to return, He's going to make things new and, and peaceful. So wow. all this is known, and I think Hollywood knows it. It's just really hard to give that evidence and truth because it almost shows the demise of things. But there, there's so much hope. Yes. that we have, you know, and we don't have to go through the end of the world scenarios. No, no we right? can be raptured <laughs> beforehand when we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Hutch. Folks, don't look to Hollywood for the end time. Look to the Bible, Book of Revelation, and it tells us that if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, then the end time scenario is not a scenario for you.